What is up, everyone? Here is yet another example from uh, the Mechanics of Materials textbooks, Chapter 2, on axial stress and strain. So in this question, as you can see, we got this apparatus, and there's a, there's a cable which is being used to hold up a beam, which also is holding this 50-pound load. And it's been, it's been kind of calibrated so that there's this 16th of an inch gap at points B and E, and we're asked to close the contact between B and E. So where should the 50 pound load be placed to close this contact? So as usual, please try the question first, but we're gonna jump right in. We got this rigid beam, ACB, okay? And we're gonna use trigonometry to our advantage here. So this beam is gonna have to rotate through a certain angle, theta, in order to close B and E. And if it's a small angle, then small angle theorem holds true, and the sine of the small angle is equal to the small angle. In that case, we can calculate theta as the ratio of the opposite side of the triangle to the adjacent side, or the 16th of an inch uh, between B and E, and the full length of ACB at 20 inches. So the ratio of those two is 3.125 times 10 to the negative 3 radians. Now, knowing this angle theta will allow us to calculate how much point C must move downwards. In other words, how much the cable, CD, should elongate. Now, since theta equals opposite over adjacent, or normally sine theta does, but we have a small angle, so theta is opposite over adjacent, we can just times the adjacent side of the triangle by theta to get the opposite side. So, the delta C can just be calculated by 4 times theta, or 12.5 times 10 to the negative 3 inches. Next, we can uh, find the area of our cable, ACD, just using the simple formula pi d squared over 4. It's just pi r squared, but since d is r over 2, we are over 4 instead. And just calculating that out, because we're given a 3 over 32 inch diameter, we get 6.9 times 10 to the negative 3 square inches. So the elongation of the cable, CD, can be put in equation form as FCD, LCD, divided by ECD, ACD. Okay, E is the modulus of elasticity. It's 29,000 times 10 to the 6 PSI here for steel. Rearranging this, because we already have delta C on the left side, and all the other components except for the force, we can solve for the force in this cable. So the force is Ea delta over L, and obviously everything is for the member CD here. I'm just gonna write these out quick time here. I've got the E and the area already calculated, 6.9 times 10 to the negative three, and then the 12.5 times 10 to the negative three. Finally, it's all over, also 12.5 but not times 10 to the negative three. And let's put all of our units here so we can really show how they cancel out. So we got PSI, then we got inches squared for the area, inches for the displacement, and inches for the length. Sorry, uh, inches squared uh, for the area there. And so I move the, from the PSI, the inches squared to the bottom and keep the pounds on top. And then you notice how everything cancels out. So finally, when you calculate all that out, we get that FCD is equal to 200 pound force. All right, so we'll highlight that because we'll need that as we draw our, you guessed it, free body diagram. Normally we start with them, we're just getting to it now. So it's free body diagram of ACB, this rigid member. So we'll draw it out and then we'll draw all the forces on it and then you know the drill. We either sum the moments or we sum the forces in the x or y. So first, here's our, here's our block, this 50 pound block. Draw the force, okay, 50 pounds. Next, the force from the cable, so that's FCD, what we've calculated, 200 pounds. And then we have this FY at A. And because we, we're not touching at BE, or we're just touching, but not enough to put a force, there's no force at the far end of the member. The distances, we got the 4 inches between A and C, and the 20 inches 
subtract x for the for the block if you look at the at the uh, image they gave us you can see how it's 4 plus 16 minus x so some of all the moments about a can allow us to solve for x so we take 4 times fcd and we subtract the 50 times the distance away from a that the 50 acts so 50 my 50 times 2 minus x and then you notice we can just put it to the other side of the equal sign and solve for x so we got 20 minus x equals 4 times the 200.2 that we calculated all divided by 50 we calculate that to be 16 basically 16 inches and then we just move the x over and the 16 over i state x x equals 3.99 inches so that's it that's the example we need the box to be four inches from b i hope that example was helpful for you honestly i think it's just the accumulation of a lot of practice problems or examples which can really drill this stuff into you which can make life super easy on exam day and uh, you know by the end of all this you should just kind of know the modulus of elasticity of all the materials you don't even have to look them up you're just like oh steel 29,000 you know you just know it by heart because you do so many